Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lion's Den Show. And here's your host, Cody Robert Judy. Welcome to the Lion's Den Show. I'm your host and your toast, Cody Robert Judy. Cheers, it's good to be with you. Today is uh, March 10th, uh, 2011, and today's banging show uh, we have entitled America's Rebirth, the New Conservative Patriot of America. Democrat and Republican control upon Americans for power has resulted in a policy of what I'm calling sl silent plunder. Not by the party who was in the majority or in control of the houses of Congress and the White House, but rather by the party who was not in majority or in control in the, in the White House. The result of this ultimately has been the total devastation of our Constitution uh, rule of law. Uh, seen ultimately uh, by the occupant of the White House who is there because Democrats and Republicans have so little regard for our uh, Constitution's demands of a natural born citizen and Obama has been allowed to sit in the office of the president. Now you may say my theory is up in the night, uh, the silent plundering of America by the party trying to arrest power, but I tell you it is true. Nowhere has this become so clear, but to see and hear the Republican-controlled House conduct business as if all was well in the White House, and Obama was qualified to sit in the company of past presidents of the United States. There comes a time in every vehicle's life when the owner finally says, hey, it's not worth fixing, and just goes out and buys a new car. Well, the time has come for America to shore up the foundation of the broken houses we call Republicans and Democrats by laying them aside for a time and not bestowing the honor of the presidency upon either of these parties. I say to the American people, there is no other way to discipline the host of congressmen and senators and governors and state legislatures who have idly sat by watching Obama in the White House without so much as a hint of defending the bulwark of our Constitution demanding the qualifications of the U.S. President. What have they to say about the demands of those qualifications and the fraud that now runs rampant in the White House, sodomizing America's virtue by rape and plunder? I want to call your attention to the leading candidates uh, for president in the Republican Party who feel the silent plundering of America is A-OK. -okay. And what do I mean by silent plundering? I mean by not raising a finger not raising their voice and not raising a hair on Obama's ass regarding his British citizenship. Last I checked this wasn't Britain. This is the United States of America and it was by the holy auspices of our Creator God that we were established here as a nation born of freedom and liberty with a new standard of law we call the US Constitution. According to the February 15, 2011 poll conducted by public policy polling, 51% of the GOP primary vote voters erroneously think Mr. Obama was not born in the United States. Yet their leaders are not moving to hold any kind of a qualification hearing in the House's Judicial Subcommittee. That tells you the GOP leaderships are way off base with their own constituents. Any thought the birther theory has been put to rest can be thrown out the window with this poll, said Dean Debnam, president of public policy polling. It is time that the well-intentioned GOP support for Senator John McCain in the Senate Resolution 511 that tried to make a naturalized citizen a natural born citizen stop. It is time that the U.S. Senators and Representatives learn the meaning of a natural born citizen and that it has nothing to do with the 14th Amendment. 
The framers wrote the clause in 1787 and the 14th Amendment was passed in 1868. There is no indication in the text of the amendment, its history, or in any court's decision that suggests that the amendment uh, changed Article II's natural born citizen clause. But I have letters from my own U.S. Senators, including Senator Hatch from Utah, who once chaired the Judicial Committee of the Senate, that shows them failing, falling flat on their faces, defending this as if they were defending the fact the Earth was flat, with the globe of the world sitting right in their office behind them. There's no excuse for this, and the American people have got to pull their head out of the sand and see that the only explanation is fraud. The fraud Obama has pulled with his documentation, transparency promise, and signed candidate declaration, espousing his qualifications to run for that office, and the accomplices of that fraud that the senators and the representatives have so far hoped the American people would not catch on to before the next election. The fraud that a Senate resolution could make someone a natural born citizen, as in the case of Senator John McCain, who was naturalized and thus cannot possibly be qualified for the office of the president. Well, I say the game is up. Now you communistic trough feeders, until you want to get out of the slop and trough of Obama, you are in the muck and mire with him up to your eyeballs. The Republicans and Democrats know that they have lost the legal arguments on presidential el eligibility and are desperately trying to wiggle out of the uh, consequential predicaments they find themselves in now with America catching on. This is inaugurous to the current death rows of Colonel Gaddafi in Libya. These idiots are trying to go down with a fight for their stained egos. They are proving more valuable to them than the Constitution of the United States and the future generations of the United States that are selling down the road in the process. I only wish they had fought for the Constitution as they have fought for their slop in the trough of Obama. I tell you, the American people are on to you, traitors and tyrants. And you will not be allowed to trash our Constitution. We are going to carry out a rigorous investigation from, of everyone who has played a part in the insult and assault to the law of we the people. The guilty culprits are going to be identified, vilified, and disdained as an enemy of the Republic for which we stand. There is not going to be any hiding place for this criminal cabal here in the United States, so help us God. While Mitt Romney edged out Huckabee for the top slot best suited for uh, to, or to be president, nowhere is Romney in Romney's latest March 8th op-ed published in the Boston Herald 2011 entitled Why He's Failing Obama and how to get it right. Mitt Romney rolls out Obama's misery index. Nowhere does Romney make a stand for the presidential qualifications of our Constitution. Now I ask 51% of the Republicans, how can you want a presidential candidate who has no balls for the Constitution, who hides and skirts the issues like he's protecting the social communist Marxist radical himself? It's not like the principle of the Constitution interferes with Obama's Islamic religion or anything. It's his British citizenship, stupid, that we all know disqualifies him from being an occupant of the White House. This is not going to stand with America. No, it's not going to stand. No, no, no. It's not going to stand. Because it's wrong, wrong, wrong. With this kind of report, it's a wonder Mitt Romney isn't seriously considering Hillary Clinton as his vice presidential running mate. Is that what you're going to do? Because really, there isn't any difference between what the Republicans and the Democrats are pulling when it comes to this most important issue of our time. And that's whether we have a president with the balls to stand up for the Constitution and the Republic in the most blatant fraud of our history. This is not the conservative leadership we need right now in America. And I'm telling the Republican Party, stay home. Don't even come out. I'm going to make you look sick. Don't even come out in this arena because you're going to lose. 
You're going to lose big time. You're going to look sick. And you deserve to lose because you have no courage and you won't take a stand for our Constitution. That's your record. I live with mine. You can live with yours. There is not a natural born citizen in this whole United States that needed Congress's approval for it. And that is a hard fact. My name is Cody Robert Judy and I'm running for president. I want every patriot in America to cowboy up and spur them in the guts.